When India became independent, it wanted to have its own educational system, bidding farewell to the Makala system, which was to create the Sahibs and the Babus. The committee under the chairmanship of Dr. Radha Krishnan came up with the concept of rural university in 1949. This system was a synthesis of four historic experiments in education. The Danish Folkhøgskole, the American Land Grant University, the Sriniketan experiment of Tagore, the Naitalim experiment of Mahatma Gandhi. The objective was to create leaders not rulers who will lead through action and will provide development leadership for rural India. In 1956, 14 model rural institutes were set up. The first one to be initiated was in Gandhi Gram, Tamil Nadu. Gandhi Gram of today was a historic place where Gandhiji's train had to stop to give darshan to about 10,000 villages in 1946. Gandhi Gram was founded by two disciples of Bapu, Dr. T. S. Soundram, the daughter of the industrialist TVS, and Dr. G. Ramachandran, who was a student of Tagore, whose revolutionary marriage was solemnized in Vada by Gandhiji himself. Gandhi Gram was started on a 25 acre plot donated by Tyagi Lagumaya near Chinalapati with Gandhiji's own blessings. Starting with an asylum for women, children, then a hospital, a school, and finally, it was the turn for a historic university. Dr. Rajendra Prasad, the President of India, laid the foundation of GRA on 17th August 1956. The first ever rural institute started functioning when Pandit Nehru rang the bell of the famous Bell Maidan to inaugurate classes. Yes, it was a tryst with India's educational destiny. The GRA was constituted by four colleges College of Rural Services, College of Agricultural Science, College of Rural Health and Sanitation, College of PG Studies, and five major programs. GRA was a fully residential institute based on Gurukula system. Students and teachers were willing partners in rural development demonstrating a self-reliant community aiming at education for life and education through life. The first 20 years of GRA coincided with the first phase of rural development in India, namely community development. GRA became a training place for most of the cadre needed for community development in the southern region. GRA and its sister institutes like Gandhi Gram Institute of Rural Health and Family Welfare Trust became centers of action riches under the role-playing leadership of Dr. G. Ramachandran, its director, and Dr. T. S. Soundram, and the principals among whom Sri V. Krishnamurti, affectionately called V. K. Anna, became a legend. The country was eagerly watching the experiments of Gandhigram institutions and these experiments could impact the country because GRI's founders were also part of the political administration of the country. The rural institute became the friend of the poor, philosopher of development and guide to the government in rural development outreach. No wonder it got the unique honor of being declared a deemed university through Srimadhi Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister of India. Now the institute has seven faculties with 22 departments. Dr. J. Ramachandran became the founder vice chancellor after Gajendra Gadkar and Dr. T. Soundram served as the first and the second chancellors. 
the vice presidents of india have been the chancellors GRI started taking up its second phase dedicating itself to the vision of peace technology backed integrated rural development and building up a participatory development culture this journey was spread over 3 decades nearly 50 modern courses in various aspects of rural development science and culture were developed and the institute became the center for action research in participatory development more than 100 projects organizing the beneficiaries through participative technique into cooperative structures to utilize their natural resources towards watershed and sustainable practices and commercial cultivation employment through sgs entrepreneurial avenues and quality of life through purified drinking water waste recycling and sustainable technologies for building clothing food processing all these were sought to be done in a participatory style involving local administration the institute built up world class learning environment and academic programs In appreciation thereof the NAC in 2002 conferred five stars on Gandhigram Rural University GRU has powerful extension outfits the Krishi Vigyan Kendra the building center the energy center adult education and extension department center for entrepreneurship development NYK South India Support Center Idara the Rural Technology Center the Building Center and emerging centers like IT Center Geoinformatics Center and Yoga Center a touchstone for extension prowess of GRU was the tsunami of December 2004 after documenting the devastation The university gathered experts from higher institutions on the 10th day for a search for hazard resident habitats resulting in house designs chosen through national level contests and tsunami cyclone shelters besides creation of models and strategies for training and futuristic models GRU has helped build dozens of habitats with care. CSI ERD and is on a long range collaboration with UNDP to create technology demonstration units and cluster models for self-reliant hazard management and presenting the same to the world. The rural university has served as a platform where all the stakeholders who come together scheme and financial agencies people and civil societies government and corporates besides other knowledge centers while it extends itself to other regions by networking with other NGOs through pen people's educational network Globally there are many institutions that are collaborating with GRU and global corporates and many institutions in India GRU is a partner with many UN bodies and the World Bank So president Dr APJ Abdul Kalam's exhortation to GRU is quite germane In this country many more Gandhi Gram Rural University should come in gandhi gram rural university should be the pilot should be the captain to have such type of a value based uh, value based economic property